Hey everybody, Faced here again, and today I'm going to take a look at rebuilding the Kanger T3 head. Now this is an old uh, Kanger um, bottom piece. It's got the coils in it. Uh, this one is starting to give me burnt flavor. Um, got, I don't know, I've been using this maybe three weeks a month, something like that. So it's time to change it. I could spend $3.50 and buy a new one, or I can attempt to rebuild it. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to rebuilding a VV Nova. Um, the only difference is that instead of building on the top where it's easy to get to, we're going to have to get down inside of here um, and um, see what we can do uh, if we can work down in that little ego fitting. So let's get to it and see if we can't take this thing apart, see how it's put together and see if we can't uh, build a new coil. Okay, here we have our used T3 head and let's see if we can get this thing apart. This little rubber silicone grommet slides off. We'll set that aside. Uh, let's see, we got this little post in here that wiggles off. And we'll set that aside and I'll let you see down into the coil here. And it looks like got some two pieces of of wick that don't have anything on them and then down inside here you can see the coil all right so how are we going to get that out let's try to pull this out first all right I'll pull that out and there we go. There's our old wire. And then you can see down in there. So, all right. Now it looks like we're going to have to we're going to pull the center pin out of here. Put it down in there with the pliers and pull it. And there's that piece, the metal. And then there's a little grommet in here right there. Yeah. All right. Now we got it apart. Let's see if we can put it back together. All right, I have a piece of um, two millimeter wick here, and I have some 32 gauge canthal, and I've got a syringe needle just to use as a stabilizer. I want to give myself enough for a, a good leg. Maybe. Probably should use some thinner wire, but I don't have any. And we'll do five wraps. Pull it off the needle. And a little bit too thick a wire for this purpose but if I had some 36 that would be better but I don't so well I'll uh, try to squish these coils together a little bit okay and there we have our coil straighten these legs out together and sorry about the off camera but there we go there's our rather beastly ugly coil but a coil nonetheless it is. all right now we're gonna have to get it inside of here and we just take both of our legs of this and slide it down in the hole and boom well it'll fit in there so there we go well maybe All right, then because we had some wick over the top, I'm actually going to fold this over like so. And I'm going to put this back together just to hold it in place uh, so that coil doesn't come out of there. All right, and we'll have to take that apart and look at it. Now, one of these leads will go in through the middle 
of this grommet, just like with the VB. So what we'll do is that, slide that down. Okay, we're gonna try it with some tweezers here and see if we can push that little grommet down inside the hole. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm gonna edit this video so that this is gonna look like I got it on the first try, but I guarantee you that it didn't. This is a pain in the ass. But get you a good pair of tweezers and you can get it down in there. Alright. So let's see we got that wire tight. That wire tight. Now this is gonna go, you have one wire sticking out through the grommet hole, and you got one wire on the outside of the grommet hole, and that's your ground, that's your positive. And we're just gonna take our tweezers and we're gonna reinsert that center post. Maybe. And uh, there we go. All right. And you can see that it is in there. And yeah, we have our positive and our negative. I'm going to pull this back off here and just check my coil, make sure. Oh, it's not all jacked up here. see that in there or not but looks all right all right now I'm gonna have to get in here with some cutters well, scissors and uh, trim these wires there we go all right now that's trimmed off all right well let's test it and uh, see how we did Okay, um, now I've, I've got my coil in there as you can see, and I'm going to check it with the resistance. 2.34 ohms, so just about what it was when I got it new. So that's perfect. Now we're going to test it, just to make sure we don't have any hot spots on it. Don't need that. And put on an Ego battery, in case I blow it up. and looks good nice red coils no particularly hot spots on it so all right um, now because we have these uh, we had these wicks that were over it before what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this up and put it back in that channel like it was when it came before I put the center post back in there and try to push that back in like so good all right i will trim my wicks like the original Okay, and this one as well. All right, one, whoops, forgot one piece. Got to put this little silicone cap back on here. And ta-da, we have rebuilt our Kanger T3 head, but as they say, proof is in the pudding, so I've got a working one here. Take this head off, and put this one in and see how it works.
get it wet here. And there you go. One rebuilt T3 head. All right, so this is my Kanger T3 on my Axton SL with the rebuilt head that I just did. And it works. So if you guys are looking to use these on the cheap and you happen to have some silica wick, which isn't expensive, or some canthal wire, which again isn't expensive, and you want to rebuild these yourself with a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience, you can do it and save yourself $3.50 plus shipping to order new heads for these. So thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.